Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. For today's demonstration uh, I want to show how you can take a fairly busy subject like this uh, harbour scene and crop it down to find a much simpler composition. Once I've cropped the image I needed to simplify it and edit out the things that uh, would distract from the main focus and cause imbalance in the composition. I wanted the focus to be on the father and daughter collecting seashells so I removed the boat from the background along with the distant shoreline to create a simpler, uncluttered and less distracting backdrop. And I ended up with a brighter, less cluttered image. The edge of the harbour wall leads the eye neatly to the main focus. Also the lines of the beach, the cabin of the boat and the base and edge of the harbour wall fit neatly with the rule of thirds. Also, changing the colour of the girl's shell bucket uh, helped create a nice golden spiral to take the eye around the painting. So let me show you how I painted this image. I started with the sky. I turned the board upside down because I wanted the sky to be darker at the top and I wanted gravity to pull the pigment down. Once that was dry, I turned it back over and using the same mix, which was, as I said, cobalt blue and a touch of cer cerulean, um, just added a little touch of jadeite green just to uh, green the sea a little bit, make it more distinct from the sky. And again, just keeping it lighter as it gets closer to us. And while it's still wet, just dropping in a few streaks of uh, shadow in the, uh, in the waves lapping on the shore. It's a very gentle day. Uh, at this point I had a camera breakdown, so uh, missed a little bit, but uh, basically the harbour wall is ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna, wet in wet, flowing into each other. And I'm just painting a reflection here and the shadow in the water. Not forgetting that you can see through the, uh, the openings in the, in the cabin of the boat. So just darkening, darkening the base of the uh, harbour wall there while it's still wet. This is raw sienna, very light mix for the uh, beach. Just washing it in lightly and adding a, adding a few darker streaks while it's still wet. This is a mixture of ultramarine and burnt sienna for a nice bluey grey for the side of the boat. And I'll use the same colour for the, the underside of the boat and the shadow on the beach. Just adding a bit more pigment there. Not forgetting the shadows on the figure, the two figures and the, uh, the red bucket. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, darker raw sienna, scumbled in on the, with the side of a brush for the beach. And for the top of the boat, I've uh, watered down the same grey mix, so that it's a much lighter grey. I've let that dry and I'm just adding the, uh, the blue of the roof of the, uh, the cabin. Nice cobalt blue, bright sunny colour. Just adding a bit of shadow on the boys on the side of the boat there. Same with these larger boys. I'll be going over this with, uh, with a ready orange but uh, that uh, putting the shadow in first just helps to create that uh, feeling of three dimensions. Just using, using a slightly darker blue bit of ultramarine and cobalt mixed together for the detail on the boat.
using the same mix of colours for the um, for the figures just to put some shadows in. Trying to add some three dimensions to it and just putting a very very light mix of cadmium red for the flesh tones there and a darker mix of cadmium red for the bucket and the boys. Using the same colour on the life boys stacked on top of the uh, cabin of the boat. And you can see now as I put the reds in that um, spiral is starting to appear. For the man's top I'm using the same mix as before but with just a little bit of jadeite green just to vary the uh, the colours a little bit make him stand out from the sea behind him. Same with his shorts only a bit lighter. For the girl's swimsuit it's permanent rose, very light mix to start with. I'll darken a few areas afterwards. Always make sure you put a few uh, shadows on the limbs of people and on the on their bodies. Just adds depth but at this distance it's not worth trying to put loads of detail in so it's um, just an impression that there are two people there collecting shells. Just darkening those boys to make them more three-dimensional. They're in, in the shade so there wouldn't be a lot of light reflecting of them. Just adding the shadows on those life boys stacked on top of the cabin. For the ropes and the tops of the boys this is ultramarine and burnt sienna made into a nice almost black colour. A strong mix, not too much water so it's easy to add the detail. Using the same mix just to detail the boat a little bit just to uh, tidy things up. Not being too fussy. Decided to darken the side of the boat, it looked a bit uh, pale and I wanted the, the whiteness of the, uh, the front of the boat, the cabin, to stand out. This is in bright sunshine. This is pure white gouache just to add a few details, nothing too specific. I thought I'd pretty much finished but uh, I decided to uh, just darken the base of the harbour wall and add a darker shadow uh, under the boat and to the underside of the boat just to give it a bit more depth. But other than that the painting's finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful in showing you how I edit down from a, a wider photograph to a smaller area and create a composition that's um, easier to paint and looks better, not less cluttered. If you like the video please give it a like, always helps with YouTube and do subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos and thanks so much for watching.